You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, here we go yet again, guys. We're starting off the week on a Monday. And we have another case of a young man, young athlete, that has just all of a sudden died suddenly. These videos are becoming uh, the new normal here. I'm not surprised. Actually, we did go about what I would say, what, four or five, six days, probably almost a week without actually making these videos. And I got to be honest now, folks, it's getting to the point to where now I'm not even shocked. I'm not even shocked. This is definitely turned into a normal thing in 2023. But before 2023, this is definitely not normal. Young athletes are supposed to be the most in shape people on the planet. But yet we actually have a minor leaguer here, former minor leaguer in the uh, Mets system that is just dropped dead at the age of 31. Now, you may be saying, well, your other videos, you talked about, you know, teenagers and people in their 20s. Yeah, 31 is still way, way, way too young. This is not normal. Look here, guys, on Fox News. It says former Mets pitching prospect Matt Pabaraki or Pobareko, Pobareko, a hard name to pronounce there, Pobareko, uh, dead at 31. Pobareko reportedly died of a heart attack, a heart attack. Now, this is not an overweight person. This is a young person right here. Yes, there are conditions where um, you may be born with some type of a heart defect that goes undetected, undetected or something like that. But still, again, we're seeing way, way, way too many of these incidents here. 31 is super duper young. Let's read this, guys. Former New York Mets pitching prospect Matt Popareco, who most recently played in Mexico, died suddenly. That's the word, died suddenly, of a heart attack on Friday. So just two days ago. He was 31. News of Pobareco's passing was first reported by MLB insider Hector Gomez. But several of his former teams have since confirmed his death. And this is uh, one of the teams uh, right here. Uh, the St. Paul Saints. Look at him, man. He was born in 1991 and he died in 2023. Sad. But uh, his former team, the St. Paul Saints, says is it is with a heavy heart that we learned of the passing of former Saints pitcher Matt Popareco. He was an incredible teammate and a fierce competitor, but an even nicer person. He will be missed by all who knew him. We send our love to his family and friends. So many teams are actually out there having to make these statements lately. I'm tired of um, actually hearing about these statements because stuff like this should actually not be happening to young people. The uh, Pensacola Blue Wahoos. They put out a statement. The Blue Wahoos joined the baseball community in mourning the passing of Matt Pobareko. A member of our 2021 team. So just a few years ago, Matt was beloved on and off the field. Our prayers and love are with his family, friends and teammates. My goodness. Uh, Let's see here. The Sioux Explorers, they also made a statement here. Uh, The Sioux City Explorers regretfully announced the passing of pitcher Matt Popereko on February 24, 2023. The Iowa based professional minor league team where Popereko spent time between 2019 and and 2022 said in a statement, man, uh, quote, words cannot express the grief and sorrow we feel today for Matt's family, friends, teammates and his fans. Explorers manager Steve Montgomery said, quote, he truly loved being an explorer and being a part of this community. He was a fierce. 
He, w- he was as fierce of a uh, friend as he was a competitor. We will miss him as a baseball player, but even more so as a friend. Yeah. I'm not shocked anymore. And I definitely should be shocked because, yet again, this stuff is not normal. But we have made so many of these videos on these athletes just dying suddenly. And yeah, actually, if you go to the uh, the comment section on uh, some of the tweets here, like over here from the St. Paul Saints. Yeah. Right here it is not normal to die of a heart attack at age 31. Yep. Then then a reply is it has absolutely become the new normal. Because of you can actually see right there, according to that tweet. Born on Christmas Eve in Hammond, Indiana, Pobreco played college baseball at Kentucky Wesleyan College before signing a minor league contract with the Arizona Diamondbacks in 2016. The right-handed uh, pitcher first joined the Mets organization in 2017 and spent several seasons in the minors. He also spent time with the Miami Marlins organization. Pobreco had most recently pitched in the Mexican League and Dominican Winter League this offseason, according to the report. So there you have it, guys. Another sad event here of another young athlete dying of a heart attack. And this all pretty much, at least in the limelight anyway, going back to uh, DeMar Hamlin on Monday Night Football, where, where it was just absolute absolutely scary how he just collapsed and he actually had cardiac arrest. So that means his heart just stopped. This case, they said he actually died of a heart attack. What caused this heart attack? What caused this? That That's the question that's on many of our minds. And hopefully, you know, we actually do get an explanation, but I highly doubt just like in the other cases, we don't know what, what was actually causing these heart attacks and cardiac arrests. We still have no answer. And I believe there's a reason why they do not want us to actually know this information. Now, kind of early here, uh, Matt Pobreco just died a few days ago. But when I see young people, you know, especially under the age of 50, per se, and they are athletes in great shape. And it's even more concerning, you know, when they're much younger, you know, between 16 and 31, like uh, Matt Pobreco. It makes it even more concerning. Because this is not normal. This is not, that's definitely a huge uptick, especially when it comes to athletes. Just all of a sudden, dying suddenly. I believe I actually mentioned uh, Hank Gathers in um, previous videos. Hank Gathers collapsed during a game and then um, he was actually uh, pronounced dead. I believe he actually died when he was actually on the basketball court. There's videos of him collapsing, man. That is scary still. It's still on YouTube, by the way. That was over 30 years ago. But between Hank Gathers, after Hank Gathers, I should say, did you actually hear especially like on a almost daily basis of athletes, young athletes just collapsing? No. But today, pretty much on a daily basis now, you're hearing about young athletes just dying, just dropping dead. This is beyond concerning now, guys. It is beyond concerning. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.